Welcome and angel blessings, dear ones. It is Rachel Cooley joining you for the Divine Impact Show with Rachel Cooley, the space and the place where spiritual women, amazing soulpreneurs, mothers, and career women catalyze miraculous blessings for themselves and others with the angels. So as we gather in today on Instagram and on Facebook, I invite you to say hello in the comments as you're joining me live or if you're joining me live um, or if you're joining me on the replay, just hashtag replay so I know that you've been here watching and taking in our beautiful show for today to bring in compassion with the angels. So are you a spiritual woman or a divine one who is feeling the call, feeling the call to make a positive difference in the world right now? The angels of the archangels may indeed be calling you, dear ones, to expand into your divine purpose and to be of service. They are calling so many of us, dear ones, to collaborate with them to bring a divine impact in some way to the world, to help individuals, to help families and communities, and that unique group of people that you're being guided to support. So if that is you, you're in the right place. So as we continue on, say hello in the comments. I'm going to make sure that I'm also live streaming into my Divine Guidance um, page, as well as my Angel Sisterhood group for Divinely Thriving Women. I want to make sure I'm streaming in all of these beautiful places all at once. So hang in there and we'll continue on with our inspiration and with our angelic experience for today with the angels. I'm just going to make sure I'm streaming live there. Hey, 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 Beth. So glad you're here. Thanks so much for joining me live. Awesome, Beth. So glad you're here. Great. And I'm also going to stream into our Angel Sisterhood group. Wonderful to be here with all of you live here right now. Yay. I can see you, Beth. I can see your comments. Awesome. Amazing one. So welcome to your ones. If we haven't met yet, I am Rachel Cooley, and I have been working with the angels officially now here in the month of September of 2024 for 25 years. I have been bringing blessings forward with the angels as an angel therapy practitioner, as a spiritual counselor. And I also provide support, not only one-on-one -on -one with the angels for spiritual women and soulpreneurs. I also bring these blessings as well to mothers and career women in my angelic sanctuary journey program, as well as in my angelic mentoring program as well. And I am here because I have been guided and called to support amazing women all over the world and some men along the way as well. But I do specialize in supporting women with the angels, partnering with them to bring in their angelic blessings, their angelic allies to support them in their gift with their gifts and also to bring their gifts to the world and also to receive more peace of mind and blessings as they are calling in the angels to support them. And that is my forte. And I love to do this work with the angels supporting all the women that I do. So here we are today with our theme of compassion with the angels. Last week, our theme was on joy with the angels. So I felt especially called to the topic, dear ones, for this week of compassion with the angels at this time of such intensity in our world and with world events that have just happened um, for calling an extra love and compassion to bring in more unity and blessings worldwide to support each other personally, globally, locally as well, and to call in the blessings of the angels for extra compassion, extra healing, and for miracles, miracles worldwide for violence to cease, for things that are not of the light to cease, because ultimately, dear ones, only love is real, and we're needing to call in the blessings of the angels even more. So we are here to call in the support, and I have been guided and I'm coming here for you with you all today to bring you the connection with the angels and the archangels here live or when you're catching the replay and calling in these blessings as well for those of you that are called to bring your divine gifts to the world. So let's tap into the blessings that are here for us with compassion with the angels. Because dear ones, the world at times and especially now feels really ultimately feeling there's a lot of feeling of disconnection and many people are not treating each other with love and respect exactly obviously to the extreme right there and there as well as a lot of division in our country in our world on so many levels including socially and politically and it's time it's time to bring out and to inspire the best in ourselves and in others so that we can thrive and to be blessings to the world and to bring in such love and such compassion. And what I know is that the angels and the archangels are prompting so many of us whose purpose is to call forth and to bring forth the blessing of compassion, calling us to begin our service in the world 
and be and to continue our service in the world if we're already on that path and to continue this service and to bring our service and compassion to the world and our love before we fall even deeper in any pain or suffering in our world and on our planet. And they are calling so many of us, dear ones, to collaborate, to collaborate with you, to make that positive impact in the world. So as a spiritual woman, as a soul penor, as a mother, as a career woman, whatever role you have, or as a feminine leader, are you here to bring the blessing of compassion to the world? Post below if you are. If you're feeling called to bring the blessing of compassion to the world, let me know in the comments. And what aspect of life are you called to bring compassion to? Is it with the elderly? Is it with children? Is it within families, within marriages? Or is it maybe perhaps with the homeless or even children with special needs? What are you inspired to make an impact with positively in this world? Let me know what is that group of people or groups of people you're feeling called to bring these blessings to. Let me know in the comments, whether you're on Instagram or on Facebook, live or on the replay, so that we can tune into and see what we all are being called to bring into the world. That would be lovely. I'm feeling called to bring the blessings and the light with the angels to all the amazing women that I support so they can have their angelic allies with them in our, their lives to feel, to feel empowered, to feel divinely guided, and to feel more confident in calling these divine ones to support you in your life. So that is my joy to do so. Welcome. I am here bringing forward the blessing of compassion with the angels. I'm streaming live on Instagram and on Facebook right now. And we're talking about bringing in bless, the blessing of compassion to the world. And I was just asking everyone, are, are you feeling the call to bring compassion to the world? And if so, in what role or way are you feeling called to bring these blessings forward? So letting me know in the comments, whether you're live or on the replay, I'll be tuning into those in just a little bit as we continue on. So I'm excited, dear ones, to call forth and to connect you with the Archangel of Compassion. The Archangel of Compassion is Archangel Zadkiel. So Archangel Zadkiel, dear ones, uses his divine powers to help people to foster compassion within them, themselves and for others by helping them approach their problems and their challenges as well as the world's problems and challenges with love and with understanding and of course with compassion. Zadkiel is known as a peacekeeper archangel angel as he helps us to forgive and to have compassion for others. Zadkiel loves us dear ones unconditionally and he wants us all to love each other and he wants us to help us to heal any misunderstandings or arguments or disagreements for the highest good of all, personally, locally, as well as globally. And as the Archangel of Compassion, Zadkiel's energy and light is here to support us. His energy and light is a beautiful violet ray, and it embodies the compassion, the love and forgiveness that he inspires in those who call upon him to bring in the blessings and the light with the angels to the world with Archangel Zadkiel. The violet ray of light that Archangel Zadkiel brings to us, dear ones, helps us to treat ourselves with understanding and compassion as well as others. And with this beautiful compassion energy also comes in the blessing of forgiveness, forgiveness of self, of others, which allows us to act with compassion with the people around us in our lives with ease and grace. And there are many ways, dear ones, that Zadkiel uses his powerful violet ray light and energy and rays as well to help us with a variety of issues, at which I've already talked about a few, healing in relationships, healing globally, healing, um, bringing ceasing of any conflicts locally, globally, nationally, and calling upon Archangel Zadkiel in the presence of his vibrant ray of light is an ideal way, dear ones, to begin transforming our relationships. By focusing on his divine energy source, you can transform any negative feelings you have toward others or um, toward yourself even with the blessings of his energy and light. And the most important part of this transformation, dear ones, is forgiveness. 
forgiveness by the extension of deep compassion and understanding and seeing yourself from, from the point of view of the people in your life, the people you're in relationship with, whether that is your spouse, whether that is um, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your partner, your child, a family member, a dear friend, a coworker, or your client. These are all the areas and types of relationships that Archangel Zadkiel supports us with. And the Archangels, like Zadkiel, dear ones, have a special relationship with us. And that is a co-creative relationship so that we must remember to ask for their help, ask for their help, ask for their support because they, we have free will and they respect our free will. So we must give them permission to support and help us in our lives. So feeling this inspiration, I'm just going to check in with the comments here. Beth is sharing. Thank you, Beth, for being with me live and for your shares. Beth is saying blessings and compassion to those who feel hopeless from their life experiences. Yes, Beth, that is powerful. Blessings and compassion to those who feel hopeless from their life experiences. And she shares to help end pain and suffering. So powerful, Beth, so powerful. Yes, ending pain and suffering. That is one of your calls to bring in these blessings with compassion to and for supporting those who feel hopeless. That is so timely, sister. Thank you so much for sharing that. So beautiful and such healing medicine and perfect to call in this amazing Archangel Shamal to support you with that. So dear ones, let's call in Archangel Zadkiel. Call him in with an angelic prayer for compassion, for light and forgiveness for ourselves and for others as well and extending these blessings out to bless the world, a world in need. So as we take in a new fresh breath in, dear ones, and exhaling out, feeling held, loved, blessed, grateful as we pray. Thank you so much, dear God. Thank you, angels. Thank you as well to Archangel Zadkiel. Thank you, Zadkiel, for being so strongly present with each and every one of us, enveloping and enfolding us in your beautiful, divine, violet rays of energy and light. Thank you for bringing us the energy and the light, Zadkiel, into our minds, into our hearts, into our beings of deep compassion, of deep love, of unity and of forgiveness. As we breathe in and out, dear one, Zadkiel is enfolding us in his violet energies and light, his rays of light, bringing blessings to us, bringing angelic support, bringing in divine light, divine healing. As we breathe in and out, breathing in and out, dear ones, as Zadkiel beams down upon your body, mind, and spirit, his amazing violet energies and light, bringing in light, bringing in love, bringing in deep compassion into your heart, into your mind, into your body. As we take in a new breath in and exhale out, dear ones, feeling all these blessings rippling out throughout your body, throughout your cells, throughout your DNA, bringing in more peace, bringing in more energy and light of compassion. And through this light, through this love and compassion, as we breathe in and out with Zadkiel, feeling his blessings unfold and envelop us, supporting us, we set the intention that the blessings that are here for us are rippled out and out and out to our loved ones, to particular loved ones that we're thinking of right now, bringing in blessings, light, healing, healing within our beautiful relationships, understanding, deep understanding and deep forgiveness. We're ultimately, we're always doing the best that we can and knowing that this is so helps to bring in compassion because so often we are so influenced by our upbringing or from experiences that we've had. And we need to remember that oftentimes it is beyond us and it is um, energies that we've taken on or energies and ways of being that we have learned in our family of origin or through our life experiences. And through this understanding, we call in your energies and light for deep compassion and deep love for ourselves and our loved ones. As we take in a new breath in with Zadkiel, dear ones, and exhale out. Let's do 
three more beautiful breaths in and out of love, of compassion, and we'll set the intention. We set the intention to extend these energies out to bless the world as we make our beautiful divine impacts together today with Archangel Zagpiel and the angels. As we take in a new breath in at three, feeling the blessings and the light and the beautiful energy of compassion within you, dear ones. At three and a half, just exhaling out and setting the intention that these energies are blessing you, blessing your heart, blessing your mind, blessing your spirit and your body. As we take in a new breath in and exhale out, we extend these energies and this light to our loved ones, to a particular loved one in particular that we are thinking about right now or that group of loved ones, sending these blessings out to them as we take in a new breath in at two. As a beautiful violet rays of light with Zadkiel extend out throughout our bodies and our minds and our spirit, feeling so held, so loved, and so blessed. As we take in a new breath in and exhale out and we invite these energies, we invite this light to go out and to ripple out and out and out beyond us, to ripple out and to bless all sentient beings and to bring peace and light and love, unity, ending of violence, ending of disagreements locally, nationally, and globally to bring in more healing, light, love, and compassion to our world. So as we take in a new breath in, dear ones, and exhale out, we thank you, Zadkiel, for this beautiful experience. Thank you for taking all the energies that we have just cleared up and away to the divine, up to God, to the light, for cleansing, purification, and transmutation. And thank you for unfolding us again, Zadkiel, in your wings of light and love, your wings and your rays of violet energies and light, feeling so held, so loved, and so blessed, and feeling all this peaceful energy within you, the energy of compassion, of love, of forgiveness, feeling like a healing balm upon your heart as we breathe in and out with Zadkiel, as he beams in extra healing energies and light with his violet ray of light into our hearts, into our minds, into our bodies, and we are so grateful. So we take in a new breath in and exhale out, and as we say, thank you, Archangel Zadkiel. Thank you, angels. I am so grateful. With a new breath in and exhale out. Feeling held, loved, blessed, grateful, stretching, coming back more into the moment, feeling so blessed. As we say, and so it all is, amen and blessed be. Thank you, thank you, Archangel Zadkiel. So with our new breath in and exhale out, dear ones, please remember and know that Archangel Zadkiel is your partner, is your partner in your life and in your mission, amazing dear ones. And you are not meant to do your mission in this life, your life purpose alone. I invite you to allow the angels and Archangel Zadkiel along with the other archangels who are amazing to support you as you are of service in the world, as you make your own unique divine impacts in the world and to bring your blessings to a world, a world deeply in need of your unique divine light, divine energy and divine medicine. So we thank you, Zadkiel. We thank you, angels and archangels. And also remember, dear ones, that we need to remember to ask them to help us and they provide you as you ask them for support with divine guidance to partner with them and to take specifically divinely guided action steps that you are being connected to and tapped into. And you may need to learn more about how you can recognize your divine guidance. If so, I invite you to, to keep tuning in to my Divine Impact Show for more support and guidance with me and to also know that I have an upcoming angel workshop series that starts up actually this week on Friday so I can support you in tuning more into your guidance, connecting you more with your angels and archangels as I have our upcoming angel workshop series starting this Friday, September 6th at noon Pacific from noon to 2 p.m. This amazing series is to support you with the angels and the archangels to activate angelic power. And I have a couple choices for you with this series. You could either opt in for the whole series, doing all three workshops, including Meet Your Guardian Angel this Friday, the following Friday, or two weeks later on the 20th of September, clearing a protection with the archangels. And two weeks later, we have Activate Your Divine Oracle. All these workshops are happening and you can either purchase them one at a time or you can do the entire series, which includes an angelic support session with me 
and I'll put the details in the comments, dear ones. It would be wonderful to have more of you amazing divine women joining us for this powerful series. And I'm really looking forward to it starting up this Friday with Meet Your Guardian Angel to support you in connecting with your amazing or primary guardian angel to get the blessings, to receive the blessings that are here for you with your incredible angel. You're welcome, Beth. Beth is saying in the comments, Beautiful. Thank you. You're so welcome, Beth. I'm so glad you've been here with me live. Yes, dear ones. Um, just to wrap up that share that I had, the Archangel, um, the Angel Workshop series is you can either do all of them or you can do one at a time. And the next one is going to be this or the first one in the series is going to be this Friday on the 6th of September. And this is an opportunity for you to learn more about the angels, learn more about the archangels, and also to connect with your primary guardian angel. We all have more than one guardian angel, but this is gonna be a beautiful experience to connect deeply with one of your guardian angels, your primary guardian angel, also to receive divine guidance from your angel. I'll guide you every step of the way, and also to feel uplifted and inspired even more to live your miraculous life that is your birthright. And we're gonna do this all together in sisterhood with the angels and the archangels. So I'm gonna pop in the comments our links so that you can get um, tapped into that. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you all there. Looking forward to you being there, Beth. So exciting. It's coming up. I just share the link for Meet Your Guardian Angel. And I'm also gonna add in the link as well for our entire series so that you can get connected to this beautiful series to bring you blessings and upliftment in your life. All right, dear ones. So as we are getting ready to wrap up um, the Divine Impact Show for today, show number 36, and it's super exciting to be here in the month of September because this is the official 25 years of me doing my work with the angels as an angel therapy practitioner and a spiritual um, um, counselor as well and an angelic guidance mentor. Such a joy to be here with all of you. Remember that quote that I love to share with you, dear ones, from A Course in Miracles. And that is, if you only knew who walked beside you, fear would be impossible. And we really, truly need our angels and the archangels now more than ever I invite you, amazing dear ones, to trust and to lean on them more in your life, to help you in all areas of your life, and know to know that there's no limit to how often you can ask for their help and support, as well as guidance, including with Archangel Zadkiel to support you with compassion and forgiveness. So let's close out with a closing prayer for today as we pray. Thank you so much, dear God. Thank you, angels and archangels and Archangel Zadkiel for being with each amazing dear one here now, each amazing divine woman as well, hearing this message. Thank you for illuminating what is possible, dear divine ones, dear God, angels and archangels and Zadkiel. Thank you for illuminating what is possible in the lives of these amazing dear ones when they clear and let go of the old and make room for the new with your incredible support, your incredible light, your incredible blessings. And thank you as well for guiding them forward into that beautiful next life step for them, step by step by step as they make their unique divine impacts in the world. And so it all is, amen and blessed be. So dear ones, that wraps up show 36 for today. Let me know in the comments how you are feeling as we close out this beautiful show for today. So glad you've been here live with me, Beth. Such a joy to be here with you live on Facebook. What are you taking away? What is your word or your sentence? Let me know, dear ones, whether you're um, on the replay or you're here live. What is your word? My word is love, feeling the energy of love um, just rippling out through me and the energy of compassion. What's your word? Let me know in the comments. Take care, loves. Many angel blessings. It's been such a joy to be here live with you here for the Divine Impact Show with Rachel Cooley. And remember again that you're always surrounded by angels and that they're here to support you in all areas of your life. And you can always call upon them and know that they will always come through and they will always support you to bring in miraculous blessings for yourselves and others. Such a joy and such a blessing. All right, dear ones, take care and many angel blessings. I'll be back live again with the next Divine Impact Show next week on the 10th at noon Pacific. Take care. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Many angel blessings. Beth is sharing. She's taking away joy. Awesome, Beth. I love it. I love joy. Yay. Such a joy. So beautiful to be here all with you live. And I just couldn't help but sharing one last thing. And that is we had a beautiful angelic sanctuary journey beautiful gathering of sisters today. And what a joy that was to have you there with us, Beth. 
and to be together in sisterhood again. I love it. And I'm looking forward to our angelic sister connections coming up this Friday and meet your guardian angel. So join us, amazing spiritual women. It'd be awesome for more of you to join us with the angels. Together in sisterhood, there's nothing like communing and synergizing together with the angels, receiving blessings and inspiring each other. It's so beautiful, so um, filled with love, light, and healing energies. And the ripples that go out are incredible. Awesome. Mwah. Take care, loves. Angel blessings. Look forward to seeing you next week. Take care and angel blessings, and I'll see you next time, dear ones. Take care and bye for now.